this. So it looks like the video um, for Kylie Minogue's Can't Get You Out of My Head, uh, Peggy Goo Midnight Remix is out. And the one thing that I wanted to note about this that I wanted to speak about was the clear and obvious effects of a really, really busy and hectic DJ schedule. Um, the kind of temptations that come along with living a DJ lifestyle or a rock style lifestyle, the drugs, the drinking, the hedonism, the staying you know, up and ungodly hours, the traveling, um, the lack of sleep, all that stuff, right? Will obviously contribute to maybe people who DJ at the highest levels not looking their best, which is why we have to give people like Gerd Jansen a lot of props, right? That guy is looking looked like a mid 30s geography teacher for the last 10 plus decades right yeah like he's like looked exactly the same um he doesn't look any older or any younger he just looked exactly the same and that's because for the most part the only thing he does drink when he's at a club is water and sometimes he doesn't even drink water i've just seen him play for hours and hours and not touch a sink a sip of liquids take off his jumper or whatnot and he also does looks like he doesn't sweat for some reason i don't know what that's about he doesn't sweat even though he looks like he's covered in hair all over his body pores or not it doesn't matter i'm going to continue but that's the only way to kind of i feel like um you know avoid the unpleasant side effects of a party lifestyle is just to kind of abstain but like i said the temptation from that is wild i know for myself even on my very very low level that i dj at the temptation to go out and pick up a little packet before you play and have that in your back pocket burning a hole so that when you finish a set you can you know dive on deep or you can do it during your set um the amount of free drinks you get um you know the amount of free drinks people buy you um the after parties you get invited to the social group around it all that stuff can just lead to you going a bit crazy but watching this video boy jesus it looks like that sort of stuff might have happened to madame peggy goo because she looks a lot because again i haven't really been paying attention to her since you know i obviously spoke about what happened with her and daniel wang but i haven't really been seeing her on my social media i don't really follow her or anything so i don't really know what's going on but she definitely looks different right she looks like you know a bit, obviously a bit older a little bit more fuller in her cheeks but you can maybe tell that she's, you know, she's had, she's lived a life. She's actually been out there doing her thing, touring around the world. And maybe we're now seeing the kind of effects of it in her face and whatnot. And, you know, it's probably not the greatest, but again, you know, maybe, you know, you have one shot at life um, and you're doing the thing that you actually enjoy. So maybe it actually is what you actually was wanting to do. And it doesn't matter if you end up having a few extra wrinkles, you end up looking a little bit tired and a little bit haggard. Maybe it's the way it should be always in it? this sort of lifestyle. But I think, I think, I wonder if there's going to be a, a sort of, um, what is it? Not, not progress. I wonder if there's going to be a turning of the leaf in that kind of turning of the leaf. Is that, that's not the right term. I wonder if it's going to be like an evolution in that because I know in kind of pop star world, like Kylie Minogue world, in terms of just general music, normie music world, there are artists who just treat music as a job. They go in the studio from nine to five. They perform their tours. They go back to their hotel rooms. They go back to their families. They don't have any alcohol on the rider. They just flip and drink green juices and do fucking yoga poses um before they're set they just treat it like a job and they look amazing and immaculate but i think for the most part in the dj world side of things it doesn't really feel like that's the vibe i feel like every dj on every level is getting on it in some way shape or form whether it's really excessive or it's really negative it's really low it's like and also there's no middle ground it's like they really get on it or they're completely sober because they had like a really bad incident like you know you think of somebody like a jack master for instance but there isn't a kind of just a balanced kind of approach or a balanced reasonable grown-up kind of approach to it but maybe again it's the nature of the business because it's nightlife which obviously you know attracts some unscrupulous characters and maybe brings out the worst in people and you know like most parents would say nothing good happens after 9 a.m or 9 p.m sorry so all that kind of stuff kind of affects it also but i don't know man i just i wonder if there's ever going to come a point where it just becomes like, hey, people play music behind these decks. You go to dance in front of the decks on the dance floor and whatnot, um, and maybe shout, you know, and scream and do your thing. But the idea that you have to go out and do drugs in order to enjoy the music maybe is going to go by the wayside. People are going to actually start to enjoy it for the music because as much as people like to say they're out for the music, most people that do go to rave, I know myself included, it is a bit of escapism, right? You do kind of want to unplug from your daily scourges that you're going through, and there's no better way to unplug than to kind of 
you know, douse yourself or to kind of sink yourself in class A drugs. But of course, over the time, it takes the effect on you and you end up looking a little bit more haggard than you would have liked to. Oh, Kyrie Lok looks fucking fantastic. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> but yeah, overall, the tune itself is absolutely terrible. That goes, that needs to be said. Um, I, I think I mentioned it before on Twitter that generally i feel like all kylie minogue tracks like the the actual original tracks are good enough as they are to be played in clubs i know i've played them before in sets and they've gone completely off people gone crazy for them you don't even have to pitch them up or down they just work as is but for some reason the remixes never are quite right the same thing can be said for george michael um, there's not really great George Michael remixes out there. Um, there's obviously great Michael Jackson remixes and whatnot, but I feel like Kylie Minogue and George Michael's music is so good, you don't need to add a remix onto it. And I feel like this Midnight re- this midnight Remix isn't good in the slightest, I don't think. It doesn't really lift the track anyway. It doesn't really do anything Im- interesting to it. it. doesn't necessarily move the needle. And maybe it kind of reflected in the views, which I was surprised by, right? It's uploaded on 22nd of September. It's only got 3,000 views, which is quite crazy considering the profile of the two of the people involved in terms of Kylie Minogue minogue and peggy goo but like i said um you know she looks a lot older maybe because she is older now maybe because she's you know growing into being an actual woman i'm not really too sure how old she is or whatever it may be but i do feel like you know we're seeing the effects of a real party lifestyle of being somebody that's really in demand that's touring all around the world and whatnot and i wonder if maybe we'll get to a point where this won't be the standard thing going on i wonder if that's going to be the case because it's not just you know on the on the flipping women's side of things it also affects the 